everyone it is Rosalind again welcome back to my channel if you have not been here before my name is Rosalind welcome I talk about all things health mental physical things to make you do and feel better um, over the past few weeks I've been talking about how to raise your HDL and how to lower your triglycerides a lot of my stuff that I discuss on this channel is about my LDL and my journey with having issues with my LDL and keeping it down so this week, <laughs> got something new for you. Um, this week, we're going to discuss an injectable alternative to statins. I know. I didn't know about this. I mentioned last week that the only way I knew about this was through my doctor because she knows I don't play with statins. And so when she blurted out, hey, there's an injectable, I was like, I need to do some research. I didn't have time to reach out to her because I knew she was busy. But I did my own research to find out about the injectable um, alternatives to statins, and I wanted to bring that to your attention. So the injectable alternative to statin that I found was called Repatha. Repatha is one of the first treatments in the new class of PCSK9 inhibitors, which work to control cholesterol. This is specifically LDL. So if you're suffering from high LDL that you have a hard time controlling or difficulties bringing down, Repatha will, is supposed to work for you. I won't say will, but I say is supposed to work for you. From what I've read, within three months, you can get your LDL down by 63%, which is excellent. There is nothing else out there that I have found that can take your LDL down that fast and that quickly in that amount of time. So I am just um, flabbergasted by this. If it works the way it's supposed to work with minimal side effects, I think this may be a game changer because many of us out there are not about to get on statins and don't wanna get on statins because of the side effects. So if this can eliminate that whole statin conversation with your doctors, I feel like that is great. Repatha helps your liver clear cholesterol by limiting the actions of a protein called PCSK9, which means less bad cholesterol in your blood. So that's a good thing. And PCSK9 can be used with or without a statin. So if one of you are on a statin already and it's still not working, this is supposedly supposed to help even in that situation. So um, be mindful of that. So let's go over the side effects of Repatha because I know everyone wants to know what the side effects are. So I have my list here. I want to read to you what the side effects are. It says runny nose, sore throat, symptoms of the common cold, flu or flu-like symptoms, back pain, high blood sugar levels, diabetes, and redness, pain or bruising at the injection site. So although all of this is here, nine times out of ten no one will have any type of symptom or side effect from it you know we're all probably on something and you know we read all the side effects and we probably didn't feel any of the side effects so just be mindful especially with the blood sugar thing because you don't want something to take away one thing and cause something else i can deal with a little runny nose <laughs> You know, if it means my cholesterol is going to drop by, you know, 100 points or something, you know, my LDL. So it's like, it's okay, you know, just be mindful of which side effect you're going through. And if you're going through something like your blood sugar is up, which your doctor should be watching you while you're on this anyway, and they should be checking your blood sugar. So if not, just make sure if you do get on Repatha, make sure that your doctor is checking your blood sugar to make sure that that is not going up and causing you to have a diabetes that you may not have had already <laughs> just to get your LDL down. I had to do a little research to see how often you would take Repatha. And actually, it's not bad. I thought it was daily. I really did. And I was a little scared, but I was still willing to do that rather than take a statin, which tells you a lot. But the one thing I did find out is your doctor will either, either subscribe 140 milligrams every two weeks or 420 milligrams a month. So you could, you'll either do it once every two weeks or once a month, which still isn't bad. And it's not even just a shot because there's different ways to take it. You can take it with the needle, needle, or you can take it with the injectable thing that you press into your skin. It goes right under the skin, not as bad. I think I would do that before a regular needle. I could even do that. <laughs> so that's not bad. I can do that. I think the majority of us will be okay with that, especially with the fact that 
if you can imagine that within a month, it'll start to bring your LDL down and within three months, bring it down by 63%, that's, that's a lot. I'm no math whiz, but 63% is a lot. This may not be a bad thing and this could definitely be a game changer. So let's discuss the cost. You know, it's not something you can find on Mark Cuban's cost um, plus drugs site, but you know, there's a lot of alternative ways to pay for this so that you don't have to pay so much out of pocket. So this is a good thing. People that have commercial insurance, which means insurance through your job, um, there is a Repatha copay card that you can use and you can find that on their website and you may only pay around $5 per month for it. So that's a good thing. That's definitely good. Um, people with no insurance, I, if you don't have prescription drug coverage or can't afford the medication, you may be able to receive Amgen, A-M-G-E-M, -E medications at no cost from their Safety Net Foundation. I'm going to put a link below so that you can click there to go in and get a discount on the med medication as well. For people who are Medicare recipients, 72% of Medicare prescriptions for path of patients cost less than $50 per month. So hopefully that will help. Maybe you can get it cheaper because $50 a month is a lot if you don't have the money. <laughs> but um, yeah, definitely want to check into that. If you have Medicare Part D coverage and are eligible for Part D low income subsidy, you can expect to pay less than $10 a month. So that's a good thing. Um, Medicaid recipients, 100% of patients pay less than $50. That's a lot of money if you're on Medicaid. But it says with most patients paying less than $10 a month which is still a lot, but not nearly as bad as some other medications out there. I hope that this um, information was helpful for those of you struggling with your LDL. You know, I've been struggling too. I'm in there with you. I have a CT cardiac scoring screening coming up next week. So I will be sharing that with you. Um, that test actually produces pictures of my coronary arteries to determine if they're blocked or narrowed. So we will learn together if my LDL is affecting my my arteries or not. Um, my H, as I said before, and I've said in past videos, my HDL is high, my triglycerides are low. And so the ratio should balance things out even though my HDL is a little high. But we're gonna see, I'm really curious about that because I would love to not get on anything and not have to have these conversations every six months with my doctor about what can we do to lower your LDL? So the cost is going to be $150 to take the test. And I feel for me, it's worth it to take that and not have to spend money on medication or another medication. I'm okay with blood pressure meds, but it's just like, I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to be on anything else. So anyway, I hope that information helps. And I will be back next week to talk to you. I don't even know what I'm covering next week because it'll I will just be taking the test next Friday. And so I'll probably do a video Thursday, but I'm not sure what I'm going to cover, but it'll be something good. Come back and find out with me <laughs> what what is going to be covered. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed this video and finding out something new myself and sharing it with you all. And I hope it helps you and I will see you next week.